Hello, hello, everybody. I'm going to wait a few moments for everyone to join in. And then we're going to talk about some deco foil. I think I got bit by something. Right here. Something bit me. Hello, Sharon. Yep, something done bit me. I don't know what it was. Hello. Hello, Larry. Hello, Jen. Hello, Robin. Hi, everyone. Hello, Kelly. We'll just take a few moments for everyone to join in. Hello, Christmas today was a crappy day. Oh, it was a crappy day. Well, Candy, here I am. I'm glad that I can be uh, a breath of, of solitude, hopefully, in, in an otherwise crazy day. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Gilly. Hello, Penny. Hi, everyone. So tonight and this week at Brutus Renault, let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit, is all about deco foil. So if you all are new or, or haven't uh, been around uh, for a little while with us, uh, at Brutus Renault, we have our own line of products with deco foil and we are so honored and, and and overjoyed that we have uh this line of products with them so we decided that we were going to swap products this time around and we were going to um we were going to do some uh, some projects together. So their team is using our products. Our team is using deco. It's just a big, fantastic, really, really exciting party uh, where we're using all sorts of different deco foil products as well as Brutus Monroe products. So I'm here to answer any questions about deco foil products. I'm going to show you probably, I think, the top 10 deco foil products that. Um, we love in the world of decafoil as well as things that we know that you love uh and of course there's a free gift until wednesday uh and that free gift uh will only be available until wednesday um or if it sells out before then um i think we have a little over 600 of the free gifts but you never know what might happen between now and wednesday and of course if there are any available they will be for sale separately hello jerry um and that is i'll just show you that first that is the brand new, oh, hold on, it's in my bag, on top of bags. The brand new Media Mover, um, Media Mover, excuse me, from Brutus Monroe. So I've loved the, uh, loved the version for quite some time from our friends at DecoFoil. Loved it, loved it, could not get enough of it. But the problem is it was just a little too big for me. Um, it was a little too big for what I was using it for. It just didn't just didn't work the way that I that I intended it for. Now I know there's a lot of folks that use it, that love it, that have uh, and that's the stencil pile. It's a great tool. It's a fantastic tool. It was just a little bit too big for what I uh, was looking for. So we came out with our own. And these are the medium movers. So you get three in a pack, and uh, there are some specific designs here. Uh, that I had manufactured, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why they are what they are whenever we actually use them tonight. But with any purchase, that is any purchase from the DecoFoil slash uh, DecoFoil slash ThermoWeb category, it is actually linked down below, um, the special category, uh, you will get this for free. Um, Robin, not today we're not releasing anything new not today robin but very soon you will see some new products from us very soon so these are the brutus and row version uh and again you get three in the pack they are not available for sale yet uh they may never be available for sale uh the these are the ones that we have these are this is our first order of them i guess you could say and we won't get any more in until next year so Hopefully, there will be some left for sale, but if not, just go grab yourself. I mean, you can even grab something that's $2.99. Uh, I would suggest buying something more than $2.99 because you're paying shipping on it, 
But uh, you can get something as low as, I mean, as even a dollar. If there's something for a dollar uh, on the Jack of Foil side, you can get these for free. I think that's super cool. So those are something that we'll be using this evening. So now we're going to go through the basic components, or I guess you could say my favorite things uh, from Deck of Foil. And the things that I think are uh, that are the most uh, prevalent or the most exciting uh, to use. So uh, first of all, oh, well, Kelly, here we are. We're all now. We're all together again. We're all together. Oh, Maria, I saw the sneak peek of the book today, and it was incredible. Well, and of course, it has to be orange, right? Uh, the I saw it, and I didn't get a chance to email you back yet, but I adored it. It was really cool. So one of the first must-haves, in my opinion, or the uh, the must-haves that I think is most important is uh, the designer toner sheets. So the designer toner sheets, these are the Brutus Monroe uh, these are the Brutus and Row version of them. There are, you know, quite a few different versions. Uh, ours, I believe so far, and I don't know if this has changed, are the only eight and a half by 11s that have the clear and the white inside. So yes, Jerry, it's coming very soon and it is super ultra deluxe. It's bigger, it's a little bigger. If I if I was looking correctly, I think it's a little bit bigger. So the, the way that these sheets come is you receive, so first, you'll always receive a piece of parchment. So let's start there. Then you will get two clear pieces, okay? And then also you receive two black pieces of printed toner. Now, of course, we will talk about how these work this evening because we're going to talk about the different properties of the different items uh, within the ThermoWeb Brutus Monroe line. So, yes, 8 by 10 Yeah, it's a big one. It's a, it's a big one. Okay. Then the next necessity for me, again, with, with our friends at ThermoWeb, is the foils. So these are, so these are, oh, awesome, Cheryl. The new, well, newish. These were actually released at, um, these particular uh, puppies were released at uh, the Crayton ending event. So the very first one that we have, and I'm going to bring the light over a little bit better here is the rain glow so i'm going to try to get a close-up so you can see it is 10 billion little tiny stars in a rainbow so that's our very first rainbow edition of deco foil for uh for brutus monroe so that's super duper exciting i'm trying to get my trying to get my light to do what i want it to do and it's just not not cooperating okay so that is the rain glow. And then we have the beautiful, I believe it's called blue wave. Oh, am I saying that right? I don't have my cheat sheet here. I think it's called blue wave, blue lagoon, blue wave. I'm not sure. Um, oh my goodness, isn't that terrible? Uh, but this is the second one and it almost looks like a blue tortoise shell. And y'all know we are very, 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 uh, I, I think at this point, very well known at British Monroe. Blue Wave, that's it. Oh, thank you, Michael. Blue Wave. Uh, we are very, very well known at British Monroe for our very, very funky foils that we have done, uh, that we have done with, um, uh, with ThermoWeb. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to be able to, to show those to you tonight. So those are those. Also, you may find that uh, the foil will come in a tube as well. So this is not a Brutus Monroe foil, but this is a beautiful foil just the same. And this is gold. So this is just the simple everyday gold. And these are some ideas of also some things that you can pick up um, and throw into your cart. I know the camera really doesn't do it. It's like, it's, a, it's incredible. I wish that I could not have as much light so you could kind of see. I mean, it is, it's just crazy how beautiful it is. Um, but these, again, are some ideas also of things that you can pick up to um, get your free media, medium movers. Okay, another necessity, in my humble opinion, from DecoFoil are the flock sheets. Now, I don't believe we have a whole lot of the flock sheets left at Producer Now. We'll probably be restocking at some point, but I'm pretty sure the flock sheets that we do have are on sale right now because they are changing. 
the packaging. So the packaging will no longer be in those real long strips, so the real long pieces. Um, this is um, going to be the way they're packaged now. So they are in a six-piece uh, six set. Um, uh, six piece, uh, six pieces, six by six, and they come in packaging like this. Okay. I happen to have the ruby red and the emerald green. Okay. Also an absolute necessity, and we talk about this all the time. This is the easy cut adhesive. So the easy cut adhesive is, uh, something that I use often. And I know that we have, um, I know that we've had a uh, uh, we've had many a many a demo with this particular product. The Easy Cut adhesive is actually it's a full sheet of adhesive, and it is actually um, really really cool, uh, really really cool adhesive sheets. So these actually measure. I know it's a real weird size. It doesn't say. Does it not say? I want to say it's a little bit smaller than six by six. Oh, 5.75 by 5.75. There it is. Yep. So it's a little bit smaller than 6x6, six six, but I can show you a way around that, of course. Then we have another item that is a must-have from iCraft Demo. Um, excuse me, iCraft Decofoil Thermoweb, all the same company. Uh, and this is the 3D Foam Squares. These are great. This happens to be my favorite pack because it comes with... Um, I believe it comes with both sides, both sizes, right? Or is it just one size? Yes. So it comes with 440 squares total. Um, 352 of them are a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch, and 88 of them are a half inch. Let me show you how those look. So see, you get two different sizes in one pack. Eating secret chocolate. I know what what makes yeah. I was gonna say what does make chocolate secret. I was wondering the same thing, Maria. Okay. There we go. Oh, not sharing. Oh, okay. Okay. So there's the three D. Um, foam squares. Also a really cool product from Thermoweb. We don't carry it um, because we have our own version of it, but this is something that the team was using, and that is the Glitz Glitter Gel um, from Gina Can. We might try this out tonight because I've never... Um, oh, we're going to probably have to mix that up. I've never... I've never used... Um, I've never used it before, but I, it, I mean, it looks incredible. I love uh, I love Gina's products. I think it's super super cool, um, and I'm really excited to to try this out because I've never I've never tried it out before, and I think it's going to be um, really really cool. Uh, I think it's going to be fun to to try it out, and I'm gonna I think I'm going to um, take a I think I'm going to take a page from Miss Shannon's book. Oh, there she is. Shannon is here. I'm going to take a page from Miss Shannon's book, and I think I'm going to do a little. Blending tonight. I think we're also going to do a little bit of. Um, I think we're going to do a little bit of blending. I think we're going to do a little bit of uh, possibly some glitz glitter gelling. I think we might be doing a little bit of some foiling. I think we're going to do a little bit of everything, which I'm really excited about because I think it's going to be super super fun uh, to try out some different um, some different techniques. So yeah, so we have. Oh, her holiday release. I'll have to watch that later. So, yes, this is the glitter or the glitz glitter gel. And this is um, gold and brilliant blue. Gold and brilliant blue. Um, the brilliant, uh, they are called, oh, what is the real name of them? Hold on. The real name is ornamental. They are called ornamental. It should be ornamental on our website. Yep, ornamental.
Yep. Um, Heather Collins, I already did and almost just passed out. Okay, so let's put this. <laughs> oh, it's sold out. Oh, my goodness. I thought we restocked the things that we were going to. Well, maybe not. All right. So let's go ahead and I can tell you we have plenty of the foil. We've got more foil than uh more uh more foil than you could ever um you could ever imagine. The glitz is fun bit can run out so cover it well. Okay, that's what I'll do. That is what I will do. Okay, some other things that uh you gotta have. Uh Gilly, that is a Michael question. I, I would assume that we're probably gonna get some more. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't know. I did not realize we were out of it, and it was something that we were using. Rod, I would have made sure that we got it back in stock. Yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, okay, so the transfer gel duo, also super super important. You can use this with heat or with no heat, and of course, we will talk about that shortly. Hello, Dion. Pixie spray. You all know how I feel about my Pixie Spray. You cannot leave home without it. Of course, we are going to talk about this as well. We're going to use this specifically specifically with um, with a uh, one of our tags tonight. And then last but not least, uh, my favorite tape runner for ThermoWeb was retired. But that's okay because the runner-up is still here. So uh, this is... Give me so much time. Pam, listen, darling. I, the, the mystery boxes... I think the mystery boxes have gotten better and better and better. And you have to, uh, you, you can't thank me, although I appreciate it. My incredible uh, team at Brutus Renault put those together and uh, make some just, I mean, absolutely incredible, incredible, uh, incredible mystery boxes for you. So I'm so glad you like it. So, so glad that you like it. Um, what did you, wait, what did you say? Let's see, let's see. Um, your mat needs a little squeaky clean loving. Oh, this mat is a throwaway. <laughs> All I have to do is throw it away, and there's a pretty one underneath of it. Uh, so this is the Tape Runner XL. This has uh, 50 feet on it, uh, and the uh, it is refillable. So this is the one that you see me use often, uh, and that is another necessity. Now, something brand new from Brutus Monroe that you may have seen on our website, and something that I think is very, very exciting, is... Our new stencils, and it's a new size of stencil, which I think is really cool. So we have a new size of stencil, and this stencil has uh, become very popular recently. Um, it's it's crazy how uh, the new stencil sizes uh, kind of pop up. Hello, Margaret. Uh, kind of pop up out of nowhere. So uh, we have two new uh, two new stencils, and they are new stencil sizes as well. These stencils are six by nine, which means you can use them on a slim line. You can use them on an A2 size card, and you can also use them on a um, regular A2 size card. Or no, six by six on a six by six background. So the first one we have is the baubles, and I love, love, love the baubles. I just think it's so, 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 so pretty, and it, of course, does match um, these baubles. Let me show you here. So they do coincide, which I think is really, really cool. Let me grab, well, I guess I'll grab the, I'll grab the white one to make it a little bit easier. So you can see they do, uh, they do match. Let me see. So this one matches this one. Isn't that cool? So they, they, they don't match up perfectly, but they're really, really cool. My bobble stencil, right? I love the, I love the bobble stencil. I think it's really, really fun. I do. Okay, so then we have the uh, leaves. So this one, again, is one that I think is just absolutely stunning. It is, I believe, called Falling Leaves, I think is the name of it. And uh, it's super, super pretty. It's super, super simple. But it does give quite a uh, quite an incredible... Um, Quite an incredible uh, look and feel to it, I think, personally. So I think that you're going to love it as well. So uh, that is everything that I have to share with you new product-wise uh, and, and product-wise in general. But luckily, through the magic of television, uh, I already have quite a few that have been uh, done for me. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, I'll, most of you know Michael from Brutus and Row. He uh, did a ton of these for me today so that I already have them ready to go so we don't have any waiting time. 
And um, of course, obviously, you know, we, we, we don't want to watch paint dry, which is what this would, <laughs> which is exactly what this would be like. So uh, I want to show you the difference between, um, oh yes, Maria, that's, I love that. Uh, I want to show you the difference here uh, very quickly between the Blanco, which is something that we also, uh, that we also carry at Brutus Monroe, and then of course the Duo. So the Blanco is actually white when it dries. So do you see how white this is? This is something that you would want to use if you were using the uh, Gina, the Rena K, uh, Rena K uh, flock, as well as the Rena K um, enamels. Just a heads up, the, the all the Rena K products right now at BrutusRenault.com are on sale. So if you are eyeing any of those up, it's not because uh, we're not discontinuing the Rena K line at all. We're just going to be bringing in new product. And as you all know, we only have so much room um, at the end. There's only so much room. So uh, you're going to, you'll be able to get a really great discount on quite a few of her products. But again, you are going to want to use the white with a darker color so that you can, um, so that you can see it. Now, also, we have, so this is, uh, this is the duo, and the duo, uh, as you can see, it's on the white here, so you can see it there, and it's also on our two different colors here, but I want to show you something really, really cool. What did Pam say? I missed it. I have order shipped to the office of reception. This is only here. Hello, Seal. Michael sure has had some awesome lives. He yes, he has had some awesome lives. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Has anybody been able to confirm yet if the ornamental is in fact out of stock? The ornamental uh, designer toner sheets. I, I'm unfortunately unable to to look and try to do the um. Hold down the fort at the same time. Usually I can, but I don't have that screen up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with some ink blending. And I'm going to show you a fun technique with the ink blending you may have never thought of before. Oh, they are out of stock? Okay, okay. So, yes, they are. Okay. So let's see. So both of these, it looks like, are yes. Yeah, so these are both the same size. Let's see what the these are three and a half inches. So this is the perfect size. So what we're going to do is we are going to forget. Let me take these out of the picture. <laughs> forget these exist. We're going to take these out of the picture because I don't want anybody to get confused. Uh, but I guess I can show you, you know, at some point what the I can show you what the what will happen um, if you were to use another toner sheet. Do we have any toner sheets in stock? Just in case, so I'm not I'm not talking out of my behind if uh, we don't have any in stock, or we do have any in stock, maybe. Okay. Okay, let's see here, we would love it. All right, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, did you finish your boo bags? I did, I did finish the boo bags. I have pictures of them that I'm going to post uh, I have some pictures of them that I am going to post um, on the the fan page. That's where I'm going to um, that's where I'm going to post them. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit unique. We're going to do two different things, uh, two different things tonight. And then, of course, as you both the, the foil turner sheets are in stock, uh, but none of the printed ones, right, Penny? All right. Let me move some things out of the way here. All right. Yeah. 
yeah, no, the printed ones you can get from uh, ThermoWeb, I believe, is still available on their website. You can still get them on. You can still get them on their website. Oh my goodness! And this just in from uh, from my executive producer Michael just said that I have a pack of the ornament ones that I can give away. So, how should we do that? Let me think about that. Let me think about that. And by think about that, I'm sure uh, Michael will send me a really good idea <laughs> of how we should give them away within about 10 minutes. Uh, but I'm going to give a pack away because I have a pack in our top secret stash. Uh, some people have hidden chocolate. Others have hidden uh, toner sheets. So we'll figure out a way to give them away. Uh, I know that we were retiring a whole bunch of them. Um, so isn't an amazing joy? I love it. I love it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and let's get to ink blending. So we're gonna do two different types of ink blending. And in order for us to prep for this, this ink blending, I'm going to grab a, is my laminator still going? It is. I'm going to grab a tag. Um, okay, and I also have a $50 gift card to give away from ThermoWeb. I don't know how we're doing that one yet either, but I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I will I will keep you posted, but I, uh, my executive producer, again, Michael, uh, just uh, let me know that we do have a gift card, too. So we'll be giving all, both of those things away on Friday. We'll figure out exactly how it's going to happen. I would say definitely leave a comment. Um, leave a comment on... Uh, leave a comment on your... Um, or, excuse me, on whatever whatever you're on right now, meaning your, um, leave a comment on your, uh, if you're on YouTube, leave it there. And, uh, all, or if you're on Periscope, leave a comment there. If you're on Facebook, leave a comment there. Uh, and we will uh, pick a winner um, on Friday. But also, uh, oh, okay. We will put the uh, we will put the ornament one in a Christmas box. So one of the Christmas boxes will get the ornament one in. Also, I just thought of this right now, and I think this is going to be super super fun. So every single day, during every day during this, uh, yes, comments after the live. Yes, after the live. Uh, this is something that I just thought of. That I mean, why not? It's 2020. Anything goes. Uh, every single day. So from right now. Monday, what is today? Monday, the 19th of October until Friday, which is Friday the 23rd. Friday the 23rd, I am going to give away someone's order. Not give away meaning give it to someone else. But if you order every single day from today until this upcoming Friday, I'm going to send... Well, Courtney's going to send, but uh, or Aaron's going to send, or someone on the team is going to send you your order, but I'm going to refund you for it. So you're not going to know who it is. I will announce who that winner is each day, the day after. But if you place an order, one order every day from now until Friday, I'm going to refund, but I'm still going to send that order to you. So from today until Friday, if you place an order, and of course, it could be any order under the sun. It could be a $300 order, or it could be a $10 order. Who knows? Uh, I'm actually not going to look at the order total. I'm going to pick an order number. So normally, and this is this is the kind of holds true, you know, all the time. I have no idea what's in the orders. Ask Michael, ask Heather, ask Courtney, ask Lisa, ask Shane, ask Aaron, ask anyone that works at Brutus and Ralph. I generally have no idea what, what's in the orders. Uh, sometimes, heck, I don't even know what some of the things are called, and it's it's unfortunate. I'm trying to get better at that, uh, but sometimes I don't I, I, I don't have any idea what's in the order, but I can see the order numbers very easily. So what we'll do is we will, <laughs> Michael said quietly places another order. <laughs> uh, what we'll do is we'll put all the orders from each day in a hat, uh, someone will come down to my office, probably Heather or Michael, um, and shuffle up the hat, and I'll pull the order number out, and we will we'll give that order away for free, which I think would be really cool. That would be a nice surprise, Robin, wouldn't it? Uh, so place an order from now until Friday, and every single day, 
we will pick a we'll pick a winner. And it's going to be exciting because you're not going to know until you see that you received a refund from Brutus and Ralph. And just remember that, and we're going to have to make sure that we email that person too, because it might not be someone that's on the live and they're going to be like, well, wait a second. <laughs> they're going to be like, wait a second. What, how did, what happened? How did I, why did I get a refund? Why did I get a refund? Uh, I'll just, just consider me the jolly elf, Michael. All right. So I'm going to take the, some pixie spray, which is the light tack repositionable adhesive for stencils. And uh, remember that you are going to want to spray away from yourself, okay? And I'm going to do the technique that uh, Miss um, that Miss um, Shannon did. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, hi, sorry, I'm late. Probably for oh, that's okay, Kara. They are going to think the order was canceled, so we're going to have to we'll have to make sure that we let them know. We'll let them know. All right, so I'm just spraying my Pixie Spray all over the back of my stencil, making sure not to spray it into my water cup. Um, you know, Christopher and whoever it concerns still waiting. Oh, you're still waiting for the card sizing thing? Hmm. I hope we didn't run out. We might be waiting for more. I don't know. We will check on that um, tomorrow. I know there's been a lot of orders that have been going out, so that could have something to do with it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip this over. I know I almost stuck myself to the wall one day with it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip this over. And I'm using one of the jumbo media tags. I've been using a lot of the jumbo media tags. Number one, because I love them. Number two, because I feel like it's that, it's that time of year when we're going to be giving different types of gifts for different types of things. So... I think you should keep it to yourself. So the one the person calls up and is really upset that they're going to cancel that. Oh my goodness, Jen, that would be a lot of fun until the person says they're going to burn our building down. <laughs> and we don't want that. Uh, so we'll make sure that they uh, make sure that they know. Show your grid, Chris. Then there's the grid. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, the special thing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I just have to, next time you place an order, I just have to put it in the notes. That's all. I'll make sure I put it in the notes. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, of course, our favorites, which are the Simon Hurley ink pads. We're going to do Traffic Cone, Over the Moon, and where's my red? Bee Sting is what I want. Bee Sting. Okay, and I'm going to show you some really some really fun techniques. I think I hope. Um, so, oh, this brush smells so good. What did I use to clean this with? I think it might have been the was it the apple? Pot? I don't know. Mmm, it smells so good. That's okay. That's okay. I guess we'll be here. We will still be here. All right. So I'm going to start with the over the moon, and I'm going to do both. Whoops! Come on, back. Come on. There we go. Um, let me move this up a little bit. I noticed that my camera shifted down. And it tends to do that, and I don't know why. Okay. All right, so let's move this upwards a little bit. Okay. Whoopsies. There we go. Now much better. All right, so we're going to start with Over the Moon. Remember, I always uh, tell you that if you are going to be blending, you're going to be using the same brush, which I use the same brush often. I don't suggest it if you're doing like rainbow and stuff like that because it can, you know, get a little, little crazy. Um, but um, just uh, remember to start with the lightest first. So we are starting with Over the Moon. And just so you know, because you're going to see some magic happen here, and anyone that's just tuning in may not know what the magic or what happened beforehand to make this magic happen. But what was done is Michael, uh, who's so kindly today, uh, did these panels for me so that I would have them to demo tonight, uh, used uh, the transfer gel uh, duo on these uh, so that uh, they would already be dry. And I'm gonna show you how to foil them after. Now, the great thing about the duo is you can use it with heat or without heat. So if you don't wanna use the heat, you can actually go ahead and 
uh, put this through a die cutting machine um, and just press it. But we're going to actually use heat tonight because I think that that's um, I think that that is um, the my my preferred way. I mean, you can't you don't have to have heat though. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start blending. And I'm going to do the leaves a little bit differently, and I'll show you what I mean. So once I start blending, you're going to see something really cool. I'm trying to blend away from the toner on here because the toner is the toner is going to make that get picked up. It does smell like smoke, doesn't it? Ah, uh, she starts tomorrow, Michelle. So everybody, please uh, wish the first sibling of crafting, my sister Heather White. Uh, good luck tomorrow, although she won't need it. She will not need it. Um, Pam, we are not open again on Saturdays uh, yet, but we will be hopefully in the future. But you'll you'll meet the uh, the new retail staff on Saturdays. Um, the the um, weekday staff does not work on Saturdays anymore. No, we are off during the weekends. All right, so do you see what's happening? Isn't that so cool? I truly don't know if I'll place another orange or something. That's okay, Ikas. As long as you're still making cards, that's all that matters, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this to the side because we've already done our uh, beautiful um, Over the Moon, which is a really deep, rich uh, yellow. And what we're going to do is we're going to just start in waves on this tag. So I'm going to go in the first row. So you see what I did? Then I'm going to go in with the second row. See what I'm doing? And we're just going to add a little bit of color to the bottom of each one. And again, you can do this however you would like. I implore you to create your own ending. We're just kind of creating a flow of color here. A color story, if you will. Christopher, I actually moved out of my tent and into a house last night after watching your Crafty Crossing. Oh my goodness, I love that, Kara. I want to try to do a Crafty Crossing every week stream. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to steal uh, Corinne's uh, gig, but... I just had so much fun streaming. So I have to figure out how to do that with my Switch. And I think that I'm going to do it weekly, um, probably on this channel. Um, but I don't know. I just, it's just so cool. It's, it's just, it was, I just, I had so much fun. So, so much fun. All right. So now we're going to go in with the traffic cone, which is going to be a much, oh, I'd be so worried, be worried that the bristles, oh no, you can glide right on over. And we're actually going to foil this after Maria, if you can believe it. Everyone brace yourselves. It's about to get it's about to get uh it's about to get crazy. All right, so now we're gonna go in with traffic cone. <laughs> Why did you move it to a tent? I know. Uh crafty crossing is uh so I play Animal Crossing. Uh I'm a bit of a gamer but not like a gamer like i don't like i don't set up uh i don't set up like bunkers and you know put on a headset and yell and scream at people i don't i'm a little bit more reserved of a gamer so i play animal crossing and like luigi's mansion and things like that i play i play a lot of games on the switch and corinne um wiskman i don't know if you've ever heard of her but you probably have because she's incredible and she's done so many incredible things in our industry. She invited me to be on um, her craft cast, which is a um, which is a really cool thing that she does on um, a really cool thing that she does on YouTube, where she you know interviews and does all sorts of you know sometimes she crafts, sometimes she says different things. And it was so refreshing because we just played Animal Crossing <laughs> and I toured her island and she toured my island and it was a lot of fun. I'll have to make sure that we put a link somewhere uh, so you can watch that because it was on Corinne's channel. Yeah, it was on it was on her channel. All right, so now we're just going to go in and again, we're just going to add a little bit of color. Because again, remember, we're just we're just shading. We're just we're just shading and uh, 
No six hour badge. What does that mean? Oh, six hour. No, she had 600 hours. She had 600 hours of playing time. I said 600 hours. My Lord. He's obviously listening. I said, I'll tell you right now, Kara, you got, you are going to be like the bionic couple. That's what I told you before. You're going to be bionic and you're going to be good to go. And I am in 2021. Once everything is, once everything is finally back to some, some sort of sense of normalcy, I'm, I'm coming over for dinner. So, <laughs> so don't you, don't you think for one second, Rob and I are coming over for dinner. So I need you to set the table for four. Well, five because of this, your sweet little girl. Um, but we're coming over, whether you like it or not, because <laughs> we have been we have been dying to come back to to New York City. Uh, so, so Corinne has six hundred hours of playing time on um, Animal Crossing. Hello in Melbourne, uh, Australia. Hello. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. There are so there's lots of Lots and lots of um, lots and lots of new orders coming in, which means I get. To, uh, I, I'm so excited to pick the. I'm getting very very excited to pick the free order tomorrow. Let's say that. I can't wait to refund someone. So it'll it'll go until midnight tonight, and then we'll you know start everything all over again. Obviously. All right, so you can see now how that blends down. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel, just a regular paper towel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off as much of the ink off of, so see how much is coming off of there, off of the gel. It shouldn't affect the gel, though, but you'll see in a moment. So, of course, it looks really, really pretty like this, right? I think it looks really cool. But we have to zhuzh it up a little bit, right? We have to, uh, we're gonna have to zhuzh it up a little bit um, in with a little, with a little, with a little gold, a little gold, right? Don't threaten me with a good time anytime I draw. So I know, my friend, going to draw for the first time tomorrow over two years. Oh my goodness, Kara. Well, be careful. We all know how, uh, how New York City driving can be as well. All right, not your driving, just New York City driving in general. We miss New York so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, we have not been there since we got back three days before the first case of uh, the, of the you know, the, the thing that I can't talk about on YouTube. Um, since the first case, uh, it was literally we came home and three days later the first case was announced uh, for New York City. Isn't that crazy? All right, so I'm just going in and I'm adding just little touches of the bee sting here and there. We got back just in the nick of time. Oh, yes, Pam, you should come to the Crafty Brunch. Oh, that's going to be a good one. How many spots do we have left? We can't have many spots of that left. Well, that's going to be a fun one. Okay, so do you see how cool those leaves look now? See what we're up to here? See that? Isn't that cool? All right, so now, before I, because I'm not going to lift this up because I have a big plan for it. Oh, did I not talk about the Ultra Bond adhesive? This is the adhesive that you can um, use um, to foil. We'll talk about that later. One month, good! Kara, I just celebrated, I just, if you can believe it, I just celebrated five. And I can tell you, I still miss it every day and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But I feel great. So that's all that matters. But yeah, it's been, it's been five for me. Five months, 14 days, I think I just checked. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do the magic we're going to do on here first. And then we'll start doing the, um, then we will start doing the, let me mix this up real quick. 
Do I have something to mix it with? I do. Woo! My goodness, I almost just tossed it right on out of that jar. Hold on a second. Mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy. Um, Jackie, I am mixing a glitz glitter. It's almost identical to our uh, glitter glaze. This is just Thermoweb's version of it. I have little, little flyaways. Hold on. All right, so we're going to do what Shannon did. And Shannon, if I remember... Oh, I just pulled the top right off of there. Shannon, if I remember correctly, um, did you do just the just the bottoms, just the bases of them? I think you did. All right, so now I'm going to grab the brand new Medium Movers. I have to try to say that three times fast. But I'm going to specifically use this guy. So this one is kind of the one that kind of looks like a, I call it like a shark fin. So this is the shark fin one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit out of there, okay? And I'm just going to place a little bit at the bottom of each of these. And then we're just going to... Judge that down. See what I did there? See that? Okay. So now we're going to go again, grab a tiny little bit. Just hit the base of these leaves and then make sure you put the rest back in. I like using this side because it's easier to get into there. And again, just pull down on your glitter. The idea is we just want to add enough glitter to the base of each of these leaves. Okay, there we go. Hi Roxanne. Yeah, you can you have to do it when you're ready. You can't you can't force yourself to do it. That's the one thing that I wish that that I had done differently. I mean, I was ready but I didn't really have a plan, so Oh yeah, Michael did grow up in West Mifflin. I always forget about that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add in. Again, see how we're just adding? And it's going to look a little crazy right now, so don't stick with me. Stick with me, my friends. I know it's, I know it looks a little crazy, but I promise you it's going to it's going to it all make sense soon. All right, so I'm just taking out a little bit more. And I'm going to again hit the bottom of these leaves. Now, you of course, if you don't want to use uh this uh to do these, you know, smaller areas, you don't have to. I just want to show you that you can do it um, with these as well as I'm just going to add a little bit up here as well. All right. Now, oops, I want to add a little bit more there. But there we go. Now we're going to get all of this out of here and see you can just clean to clean this off. I'll show you. Let's close this up. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of um, cinnamon apple pie. First, a little. Oh, my goodness. It'll never get old. It won't. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the medium mover. And I'm going to grab my paper towel, okay, and watch. That squeaky clean will just clean that right off. Now, obviously, the medium mover is made for the, the pieces to fall off anyway, but cleaned it right off like it never even happened. Isn't that cool? Okay. Let's move that to the side. Remember that you will receive these for free as long as you order anything ThermoWeb or um, as long as you order something that's ThermoWeb or um, DecoFoil. All right, so let's go ahead and peel and reveal what this looks like. I can't wait to show you. And we're, of course, going to make a tag out of this one. <sighs> now, 
Does anybody else's heart skip a beat sometimes whenever you uh when you do something, when you make something? My heart skips a beat every time. Every single time. See, that's how I know I'm in the right, I'm 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 in the right job. <laughs> that's how I know that I am in the right profession because if your work doesn't make your heart skip a beat. Well, not right now. I mean, things are a little crazy right now, but soon, as soon as things are getting a little bit, as soon as things are getting a little bit, things, you know, shape up a little bit, get out. If, if what you do for a living doesn't make your heart skip a beat, get out. Look. All right. Hold on, y'all. Look. If that's not one of those beautiful things you ever did see, I don't know what. I can't help you. Look at that. Now, of course, I. this is not my original idea. This was something that I saw. Literally, this was moments before I went live. I saw a post from Shannon, who is our director of, uh, of our inspiration team. And, oh, my word. Wow. I can't wait to show you how we're going to finish that up. We can't do much more with it right now because we do have to allow that to dry. But remember, we're going to be having fun with Decafoil all week. So I'm going to peel this off. Keep my tape because it's 2020. You never know. Things, there might be a tape shortage. So let me move that. And isn't she incredible? She's just out of this world. All right. So now... What I'm going to do is I'm not going to, well, do you, I think I'm going to use, yeah. So I'm going to use the gold on this one. And then we're going to use the rainbow. I think we're going to use the rainbow on this one, which I believe, I think this is Dijon. I believe this is Dijon. I'm pretty sure that's Dijon. Or no, let's do it on, let's do it on the, well. Yeah, let's do it. Well, let's do it. Let's try it on the black. We'll save Dijon for tomorrow. Could you use, could you dry that glaze with a dryer? You could. You just do not want to use a heat gun, Jackie. You want to actually use a dryer like Ranger makes that is made for drying. Uh, meaning a heat gun is not really meant for drying. It's, it just gets really, 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 really hot and, and for us. But if you use the little hair dryer that they carry at Ranger, you would be just fine. Which is something that I bet we could probably start carrying at Brutus Monroe. I can tell you, we just ordered from Ranger, and hopefully it arrives. Please, I hope it arrives. We are going to be carrying the entire collection, every single color of Distress Oxides. Every color we will have. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Because I don't have any of them. So we will have them all. Every last color. All right. Even when he comes out with new ones. All right. So let's go ahead and pop this away. Now what we're going to do is always remember, and my laminator is down here on to the side of me, and I'm not going to bring it up on, you're just going to have to trust me that there's no, well, you're just going to have to trust me that there's no smoke and mirrors happening here because I, I really don't want to bring it up to the, I really don't want to bring it up to the table because it's a real pain, it's a real pain in the, the backside to get it to sit there and not make too much noise and it just becomes a just becomes a nightmare. So I'm gonna set it there. I'm not gonna be able to set it right here. So um, this is not Duo Dawn. This is uh, the Blanco. Oh, I know how to make it so that you know that there's no smoke and mirrors. Well, maybe not. Oh, here we go. See that? Can't do that again. So now you'll know for a fact that this isn't a trick and this is the one that's going through. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip it over. And I know this is going to seem wasteful to you. So you're all just going to have to, um, um, Simon's inks are my absolute favorite too. 
Um, and that is why I want to bring in the oxides uh, because they are uh, they're very different. So uh, we will we we let's just say we will always be carrying the Simon uh, the Simon in just the regular inks. Uh, we won't we're, we're, I don't we don't have any plans on um, carrying the we do not have any plans on carrying the regular distress. That's that's what I'll say. But we will be carrying the oxides. Okay. So now remember. Always silver dull side to your shiny side. Now I'm going to run this through. I'm hoping this laminator has been this laminator has been heating up for a good solid. I'd say probably a good solid 30 minutes at this point. Um, so hopefully, oh. So hopefully we are still good to go. The problem is these Scotch laminators, um, sometimes they take a little bit longer to heat up. They work great, but they take a little bit longer to heat up. So I'm going to run it through twice just in case. I know, I love, I've used Simon's inks. I mean, I've used Simon's inks pretty much exclusively. Now you can see, again, no smoke and mirrors. This is the, this is probably good. Let me check. Oh yeah, I don't, we don't have to run it through again. But I, what I am going to do is I'm going to run this one through with our beautiful rainbow. Okay, so let's see, should we do it? How should we do it? Let's do it like this. Okay, and this is my this is my pro tip for the day for you. Is so let's go ahead and let's tape this guy on the back here. Grab a little purple tape. When you are doing like a slim line and you do not have a piece of foil that is long enough, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and tape this on the back real quick. Remember pressure with the new purple tape. And then what I do, pop that down like that, is, now this piece of purple tape will not have to stay, we're just gonna put it there for a second, is I will take another piece of the foil and I will line it up. So do you see how that's lined up and you can barely tell that there's a difference? Well, you can't see right now, but you will in a second. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I will be able to, um, you won't be able to see the difference. I mean, I don't think you will. We'll, we'll see. It usually works, but not now today it won't work because I'm telling you that it will work. <laughs> so, all right, so let's go ahead and attach. Now, remember, pressure, pressure, pressure. We can lift this piece off. And we can just put that piece back down on there. And then we're going to run this puppy through as well. And I'll show you how it looks. All right, so are you ready for this reveal? Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I hope you are. I'm not seeing any comments, but it might be because it's not. Oh, there you go. L R Y. Oh no, what is that? Code? Morse code? All right, so let's start with the gold. Are you ready? Hello, Shanika. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I'll put this one to the side too. So here is the gold. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I mean, I know the white was pretty. But if you handed this to someone, I don't care who you hand it to. This could be this could be someone that has never made a card or seen paper crafting a day in their life. And they're gonna they'll pass out. 
I mean, I almost passed out and I have seen this done a million times. <laughs> I have seen this done at least a million times. Look at that. Let's get a close up, shall we? Look at that gold. This is one of those things that when someone sees it, they're going to say to you, now, wait a second. Hold on. Wait a second. How did you do that? How did, how, what, where, and how did you do that? So cool. So, so cool. So again, we're going to use this. Don't worry. Don't throw, don't throw it anywhere. We're going to probably, we're going to use this tomorrow. Remember this whole week is about deco form. So every live you see this week, um, this whole live, this whole week you're going to see is going to be all about foiling. Everyone that goes live this week is going to be talking about foiling to you. So I hope you, I hope you, you're ready to, to learn a lot about foiling. All right. So here's one of the new Brutus Renault foils. In this this foil, it just makes me weak at the knees, but I mean all of them do. So let's go ahead and, and reveal. Okay, hold on. Uh, I didn't do any glitz, so that was so that was a dirty rotten trick, uh, Kara, because I did the glitz on this one. So I did the glitz on this one. So this was the one that I uh, that I blended. So I blended them both at the same time, which is probably what made it confusing. Um, hi, Shanika. You will purchase from www.brutusmonroe.com. Uh, and we can go ahead and probably post the link to the, the one category. Um, and that is the category that... Um, that is the category that... Um, is where you get the free gift. All right, are you ready? Let's get a close up. Let's get a zoom. Come on, beauty guru, beauty guru. There we go. Now, who wouldn't want to receive a card? Uh, first of all, Jerry, your Halloween cards are stunning. That which... Oh, wait, Jerry, did you get the digital cut files? I hope you did. Did you get them yet? I made sure, Jerry, because I know we've had this conversation. We, we've had this conversation before, my love, uh, that you like when there's a little bit less of a white space around it. So I'm thinking of you now every single time that I do... Uh, that I design the spacing around it. And it's only five points now, which is, uh, that's, a, I guess, a design term, five points. There's not a whole, there's not a whole lot of space. <laughs> it's, it still has a good amount of space, but I didn't put a whole bunch of white space around it. Okay. That's so cool. Hi, Allie. Uh, mine is different because it has stars in it. So the uh, the uh, regular rainbow one from Darko Foil is just the the plain rainbow, or the uh, it does there is one also that is a shattered glass. Oh no, <laughs> Jen, a beauty guru on uh, a beauty guru on uh, YouTube goes like this with their hand behind it, so it will focus, <laughs> so it'll focus on the makeup that they're showing. That's so funny. Yeah, it has a, uh, it has a, uh, it almost has a glitter in it. The regular one does not have the stars. I've been good, my Dion. How have you been, my love? So there you go. Uh, so also, uh, just so you all know, uh, the uh, something else that I wanted to let you all know about is we are in the absolute final quantities of the Christmas box. Uh, and I know that I'm probably going to be showing some sneak peeks of it coming up very, very soon. I won't be able to share with you the actual products yet because we are waiting for all of that to come in, but I will be able to share with you um, the actual box. I can tell you fully and uh, with 100% certainty that this time the box's value is two. Hundred and forty nine dollars. Yes, Cheryl. Yes. So Michael and I met today, and 
we were discussing boxes and we were discussing all sorts of different things that uh, that we have um, coming up and things that we needed to plan. And the Christmas box officially has a $249 value. Oh, Carol, you, you should be fine. I think there's, I think I want to say that there's three, but it could be, I mean, it could be 12. I, I don't know. I know that when the last count that I looked at, um, there was about 30 left. So uh, again, it's, it's, it, it updates based upon if, because you know what happens all the time? So many folks, so many folks accidentally buy it twice because they get so nervous that they're not going to get it. So, and the box retails for ninety nine ninety nine. So you're getting $249. I showed Michael the die today that's in the box, like the final, final die. And he said, we, we had to actually, well, he said, he, first of all, he, he said, whoa. <laughs> he, he said, what? And then the crazy thing is, oh, thank you, Maria. The really crazy thing is we have to figure out. So this die set is so large that you're getting in the box that we had to figure out a new insert. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. We had to figure out a new insert size for the die. That's how big this die is. So, um, I mean, it's literally, it almost fills up a full A2, I mean, excuse me, a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. That's how big this die is. So, we had to figure out um, how to get this die to fit. So, just the die alone that's coming in the box is going to retail for, I believe it's $49.99 or $44.99. I mean, it's a big die set. And I can tell you what it is because it's no secret at this point. It is a die set that will make an entire cup of cookies. Um, an entire uh, an entire cup of cookies. An entire pan, cookie sheet of cookies. And the crazy thing is I couldn't stop designing cookies. So not all of the cookies fit on the pan. <laughs> so you have to switch out the cookies. And I'm talking, there are Christmas tree cookies and snowflake cookies and so, and um, stocking cookies. And what are some of the other ones, Michael? Are you still here? Um, there are snowman cookies and stocking, uh, snowflake, reindeer, Rudolph. Um, Oh, Heather, that is something that I will definitely, um, that is, oh, there's a wreath. Yeah, there, oh yeah, I, Michael will remember the wreath because he, today when he was looking at the die, he was like, what is that? He said, oh, that's the wreath. Um, there's a wreath. Yeah, there's a whole, there's so, there's so much on this. I can't wait for you to see it. And then you get a slimline stamp and a slim, excuse me, and a six by eight stamp set. So wait a second. So just the slimline stamp, I can't remember how much a slimline stamp retails for, but just the slimline, um, just the, the, so you're at $75 already just with the stamp and the die, the one stamp. I can't remember how much the slimline uh, stamps are going to retail for. And we will have the stamp separately, but I just, the, I mean, again, it's, it's, it just, believe me, I promise you. Once you actually see the contents of the box, you are going to. You're welcome, Jerry. I'm trying to get more knocked out, but I just one of these days, I think, and I don't know if this would be interesting to any of you. I think I might do a live demo of how I design those cut files and how I do the cut files because it's a doozy sometimes. Sometimes they are really easy to do and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But I was actually thinking about doing a like a really inexpensive, um, oh, here we go. Woo. Luckily, Michael took a picture. This is what the die set looks like. Whoopsies. Doesn't look like much now, but that is, it's, it's big. It's very big. Very, very, very big. Very big. Um, so I'm thinking that I might do like a little, I'm talking like it would be like a $10 class or something. Um, and it would be like, I don't know, like an hour class or something, but I'm thinking of doing a, uh, it's huge. I can't wait to use, like, 
this, so this will give you an idea. So this will give you an idea. And this is how like we get the samples. But this tray down here, this tray down here is actually in the size of an A2, the size of an A2 card. It's huge. Um, Jackie, you don't need a Cricut, but you need some sort of a digital die cutting machine. Some sort of a digital die cutting machine. So it could be a Cricut. It can be a, oh yeah, Kara, I, whatever I design dies, there's not room for a sneeze. Not room for a sneeze. It's, I mean, it's a big die set. Um, and you get that included in the box. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so that is, uh, there you, that Maria, see? There it is. She said you can't get a sneeze. Uh, so that is all that I have for you all tonight. We are going to continue the fun. Uh, we are going to continue the fun tomorrow. These are the three samples. Uh, so these are the three backgrounds that we made tonight. I'm very excited to share with you some other incredible, beautiful uh, projects tomorrow. Um, and I'm also going to show you because I've actually received several messages uh, so far what we're going to use these for. I promise you, you're going to be able to do some really cool techniques with these two sides uh, with some different Brutus and Row products. So that is everything that I have for all of you tonight. I want to thank you all so very much for hanging out with me this evening. Thank you for celebrating Deco Foil with me. I'm very, very excited to be able to give away an order every single day. I think that's going to be so fun. I think it's going to be super, super fun to be able to um, to be able to get, refund someone's order every single day this week. And uh, just make sure that you get your order in uh, so that we can go ahead and thank you, Jen, so that we can uh, go ahead and make sure that you get one of those free gifts and as well as be um, eligible to have it refunded. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to sweeten the pot a little bit. I do know that there are several people that are unable to place an order. I get it. I understand. Times are tough. Uh, everything is, is up in the air and everything is so crazy right now, but I'm going to also give away a $25 gift card every day this week as well. So that $25 gift card is going to just randomly be sent out to someone that is on the live. So I, we are going to go ahead. There's this thing that you can do through uh, Facebook as well as YouTube, actually, where you can actually see a list of everyone that participated on the live, whether you chatted, whether you, uh, I think it's you chatted or if you commented. And uh, we'll also give away a $25 gift card. So there is no purchase necessary. So you can make a purchase. Uh, obviously uh, you could make a purchase and we will refund that purchase. But again, I know there are lots of people that are struggling right now. And I know there are so many of you because I read your letters. I read your emails. I read the amazing, amazing uh, notes that you send to me. And I appreciate them so much. Um, and I know that there are so many of you that just tune in because you just want to hang out and you just want to, uh, you want to laugh and you want to have fun. And you want, thank you. Thank you so much, Jackie. Uh, you just want to have fun and you just want to, you just want to, you just want to be a part of the Brutus and Rowe family. And I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. So to all of my silent, all of my silent friends uh, that don't speak up and that's okay. I hear you. I hear you all the time when you again, send me the notes or you send me letters or you send me emails, you send me messages and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Just because, and I want you to always know this, I want every single one of you to know this because I don't know that it's said enough. It does not matter if you never, ever, ever place an order with us. Our time together is completely free and it will always be completely free. So I want to thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Whether you can place an order or not, you very well might be getting some moolah. <laughs> you might be, you might be getting some money, might be getting some, uh, might be getting some money to spend anyway. But I appreciate you all so much. I can't wait to not only refund an order, but I can't wait to give some gift cards away. So I want to thank you all so much for being a part of my life. Thank you for hanging out with me this evening. I can't wait to see what you create with your new um, 
Hello, Terry. Well, thank you. See, everyone's coming out of the woodwork now. Hello, everyone. Uh, so thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you so much for unwinding with me and, and enjoying a little rest and relaxation, as Terry said. And we are going to have, uh, we'll do the same thing. Um, wait a second. Let me check my schedule. I might not be, you might not be with me tomorrow. Let me look. Hold on. Let me get my calendar up. Um, no, tomorrow you are with Michael. So tomorrow, Michael is going to be deco foiling the deco foiling for you all night long. Uh, uh, he is scheduled at nine o'clock, but it could be nine. It could be nine thirty. Um, who knows? Uh, it's whenever he is able to uh, able to get on the live. Uh, but he will be live at nine p.m. Then Wednesday, you have uh, Shannon at six p.m. I believe it's six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can't remember. Um, and then you'll have me in the evening, and then you have Heather Collins on Friday, but you'll have me on Thursday as well. So, woohoo! I'm excited because uh, I'm not sure what Michael's uh, whipping up for you tomorrow, but I know it's going to be something really cool, and I know it's going to be something really fun, And because um, he always has fun and exciting things uh, planned for y'all. So, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you. I know, right? Don't you want to? I want to start the Christmas. I want to see the Christmas album. I'm excited. Um, I want to see y'all make it. So I just I come to just chill and get cleared up. Well, here we are, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Remember to create something every single day, whether it's just simply a smile on someone else's face or, of course, your own ending. I appreciate you all more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much for your love and kindness. Stay well and be safe. And I'll talk to all of you very soon. Good night, my friends.